The 1971 Oklahoma Sooners football team represented the University of Oklahoma in the college football 1971 NCAA University Division season. The 1971 Oklahoma Sooners football team represented the University of Oklahoma in the college football 1971 NCAA University Division season. Looking directly at the front or back of the body, the 33 vertebrae in the spinal column should appear completely vertical. Looking directly at the front or back of the body, the 33 vertebrae in the spinal column should appear completely vertical. From a side view, the cervical, neck, region of the spine, C1 C7, is bent inward, the thoracic, upper back, region, T1 T1 2, bends outward, and the lumbar, lower back, region, L1 L5, bends inward. The 1971 Oklahoma Sooners football team represented the University of Oklahoma in the college football 1971 NCAA University Division season. From a side view, the cervical, neck, region of the spine, C1 C7, is bent inward, the thoracic, upper back, region, T1 T1 2, bends outward, and the lumbar, lower back, region, L1 L5, bends inward. Looking directly at the front or back of the body, the 33 vertebrae in the spinal column should appear completely vertical. From a side view, the cervical, neck, region of the spine, C1 C7, is bent inward, the thoracic, upper back, region, T1 T1 2, bends outward, and the lumbar, lower back, region, L1 L5, bends inward. A neutral pelvis indicates the anterior superior iliac spines and pubic symphysis fall in the same vertical line. The 1971 Oklahoma Sooners football team represented the University of Oklahoma in the college football 1971 NCAA University Division season. A neutral pelvis indicates the anterior superior iliac spines and pubic symphysis fall in the same vertical line. A neutral pelvis indicates the anterior superior iliac spines and pubic symphysis fall in the same vertical line. 